Cool sign. What is up, YouTube? It is Scott Kazan, the Balloon Man, and we are going to learn the fancy cat. You're going to start by tying two balloons together, and you're going to make three pinch twists, and you're going to try your best to make all three of the pinch twists the same size, or at least make two of them the same size, and then the third one can either be big or small, because the third one's the one that's going to go on the bottom anyway. You want to line them up nice and even, just like that. So, now that we have that, we're going to have to make a mirror. Whatever you do on the left side, you're going to do exactly the same on the right side. So you're going to make two four-finger bubbles or three-finger bubbles. Use your best judgment and do the same thing on the other side and then introduce them. When you introduce them, you're going to need to make a pinch twist. This pinch twist is vital. It is a linchpin. If this pinch twist breaks, you're going to have a big problem. So make it a really good pinch twist. Twist it a couple times. Make sure it's not going to leak out on you. So once you do that, you're going to find the longer of the two balloons. And then you're going to actually use the shorter balloon. Did I say shorter? I meant longer. Oh, 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 oh. So you're going to bring it back up to the front of the three pinch twist. You're going to push it right through the middle, just like that. And then you're going to have those two balloons that you're going to bring to the top and you're going to introduce them. So you're going to make the face, this is obviously the uh, nose bridge and the back of the head. So you're going to want to make it the right size. There's no right or wrong size. You can make it small, you can make it bigger. But, you know, I usually go right to the middle. Now, this is another really important pinch twist coming up. And you should use the one that has a little bit more air left. Make that pinch twist. And now you're going to come down on each side. You're going to find the spot. Once you find the spot, make sure it's level. Then push it through. And then you're going to do my favorite technique which is the get skinny technique. I wish there was a name for this technique because I don't know what else to say <laughs> except to get skinny. I mean, it's silly. That's all I ever tell you to do. I, I wish that technique had a name. If there is a name, somebody please let me know. All right, so obviously do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's even on both sides. Make sure it's level. And then get skinny. Push it right through that pinch twist just like that. Now, what's great about the cat is that the balloons left over can be used to be making ears. So everything looks great. Perfect. That's what we want. It's not 100% even, but it's close enough. So let's stretch out those ears. And you're going to find the spot you want. And you can make one balloon long and one balloon short. And you're going to twist it into the pinch twist and I'm doing it on both sides just to make sure they're even and that both ears are pretty much the same size but you could do it either way in fact if you only had one extra balloon left then you might be able to make both ears out of that one balloon depending on how much room is left to work with so I'm just breaking off the pieces and I'm gonna push it right through the pinch twist just like that. Hide that scrap and break off the excess piece. And then hide that piece. And you can actually run it through to the bottom of the pinch twist. That'll really make sure that it's not going to leak out on you. We don't want any leaking. So that looks really great. That pinch twist that I'm pointing at you can push it to the back and hide everything. Or if you were to be putting a bow onto the cat, then you can leave that pinch twist up front and then you would be able to make a bow. So everything's nice and lined up and level. And now it's time to make the nose and the eyes and the ears. Okay, so now you're gonna get a five inch round and try to make a small bubble out of a five inch round. And you'll see what I like to do. I like to make the big bubble 
and then twist the bubble so there's extra amount of air in that little bubble so the nose really pops out instead of it being like a little bit of air and it doesn't look as good and then make a really tight knot get your finger all the way through that and then just push the nose right through the little snout and hide the excess so for the eyes I normally make them blue eyes for a white cat but since this is a black cat we're gonna go with yellow eyes so it looks extra creepy you don't want the eyes to be too big because then the eyes are gonna bulge out of the cat's head and that's not really a good look so try to make the two bubbles very even just push it right through and then once you push it right through try to push those eyes in so they don't bulge out like I told you just like that so at this point the cat is pretty much done but there's always room for bonus features if you have time for bonus features it will really enhance the look of the cat so let's make the ears which is what you're gonna do by just following exactly what I'm doing you're gonna hide that little knot tie it in really good and you're gonna wanna hide it and you're gonna make that bubble kinda stick in there just like that this is kind of annoying to do at a gig especially when you make as many cats as I make so I don't really use this step but if you're making a centerpiece or a pre-made cat it really makes it look that much cuter when you can see the inside of the ear so just follow what I'm doing you go down to the pinch twist come back up you try to make everything all nicey nice and get everything lined up perfect and hide those scraps because I hate like little dangling scraps it just drives me nuts and then on the other side you're gonna find your spot break off the rest push that thing right through and I think I'm gonna tie a knot yes I am gonna tie a knot because that's the safe thing to do and then push it through even more to try to hide it just like you did on the other side so that's one bonus feature is the ears which look really really cool but the best bonus feature that I normally do add is the tongue and that's what we're gonna do next alright so the last piece it's just a 350 or 360 with a puff of air and you're just gonna make a very small segment with the air in the balloon and that's gonna make your cat tongue so I'm gonna put the cat tongue on the cat and it's pretty much done so guys I hope you enjoy the new video it was really hard to make the little logo do the spin move and then go into the corner it is absolutely crazy how difficult it is to <laughs> learn how to do that but it, is, it does get easier as time goes on um, wow I mean oh my goodness I have been working on this video for a few days now and I have not been able to complete it I finally got it done and I'm hoping that the next couple of videos will be easier so guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you got about 30 more seconds of time to sit through the pretty colors and listen to me rant I gotta tell you guys I am really excited about the new format I'm really excited about the new cam camcorder I am not excited about how much harder it is to edit the videos to make them look as good as they look so I really hope that you guys appreciate the work I'm doing and you guys can show me your appreciation by clicking thumbs up and subscribing outside of that I really appreciate you guys sitting through the video I hope you guys learned something and don't forget practice 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 see you next time